So, do you enjoy using weapons from the pirate ages? Do you think the automatic weapons are stupid? Then the blunderbuss is definitely the gun for you. The blunderbuss comes from the pirates of the olden ages and a little miniature version of the musket. So well done. This little tiny itty bitty musket has the range of my arm, which is about one meter. So good luck. Now, in order to use this weapon, you're going to want to make sure you get up close to the enemy and you kiss them on their lips. But you got to make sure that you say no homo as you kill them. As once they die, they'll be able to tell Satan that you are gay. So then that God will t know that, hey, this guy is a gay. Let's take him to hell. Because gays are forbidden in the Bible. Now, you're going to want to make sure with this weapon that you always try and wear a cross. Or have a charm that's of a country that has Christianity in their main religion. So that's why I have Britain as mine. If you want to use that one, it's a good idea. You'll also want to make sure that you don't use anything silly. And you make sure you don't say anything racist. But if you're playing on the Nazi team, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you don't uh, say uh, anything about the Jews. Definitely don't say anything about the Jews. Or else that's a straight shot to hell. But, I mean, if you're already using a gun about piracy, and your dad's already gone already, so since you are a pirate, that doesn't mean that you're probably already going to hell. So, what am I even talking about? The blunderbuss shoots one shot, so, um, yeah. Make sure you do practice the firing range quite a bit, so you can get that shot on point, boy. Now, you want to make sure that you, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, look like an autistic kid, make sure you autistically screech at the enemy to let them know that you're the only autistic one here in the area. Now, the blunderbuss can be a really great weapon, and if you're doing camo challenges, this one's pretty darn easy to get gold. All you have to do is keep one-shotting people for a hundred times and then complete those challenges. Simple as that. Or you can just do it the easier way and just proceed your weapon over and over again. Whichever one floats your boat. <clears throat> now the blunderbuss is only available in Sopland Doplins or a rare contract that only shows up every 400 years so make sure you find it while you can for one either day or week I forget honestly this gun is mostly needing a lot more grenades so if you do want to use expeditionary go right ahead but the main two that you should use are cavalry and airborne division as I'm using here so you can run and gun, or if you need something to defend yourself while you're shooting people, you can whip up, whip out your shield, then pull out your blunderbuss when you need to shoot up someone up close. Now, is the blunderbuss a good weapon? Yeah, up close it is. It's a pretty good performing weapon. And if you were wondering the question of can this gun actually collapse people, yes, yes, this gun can collapse people. Now, what you're going to want to use the blunderbuss for is quick peeks if you're trying to peek around corners to hold enemy flags like in domination, if you're trying to get hold your flag in domination. You're just going to go go for quick peeks, and if you want to, go into prone and uh, quickly just kind of pop a nade in there, maybe pop some flashes down, maybe get stuns, and just kind of peek your head in, take a little quick pop shot. Even if you get a hit marker, you'll still get an assist if a teammate comes to back you up. And 60 points is better than dying, am I right? It gets you higher on the scoreboard and makes your KD look a little bit better. So then you'll get all the girls. And then when you tell them that you use the blunderbuss, they'll be wetter than the Sahara. They'll be as wet as the Sahara Desert. Now, you'll want to make sure that when you do use the blunderbuss, you understand that reloading is a big thing. And that's why that's all there is using the blunderbuss. Tune in next time as I show you how to use the I don't want to reload anymore, Dad. And remember, I am going away for three weeks. So yeah, click the link down below if you haven't seen the video yet. Because it's be going up afterwards. And if it's already passed August 5th or so, then you don't have to click the link down below. Anyway, see you guys in three weeks.